Welcome back to Cat's Nuka World Infiltration. My name is Ricky. This is Cat. Today is going to be a bit of a different episode because we aren't really going to make any progress in the main story of Nuka World. Instead, what we are going to do is gear up. Now, part of that, we'll be meeting the heads of the gangs of Nuka World. However, a lot of that I'm going to cut out because there's a lot of blah 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 talking and doesn't really add to the narrative of this playthrough. This is Nuka World. Um, I'm not going to speak to Harvey right now. That's the pack right there. Blah, blah, blah. Just, just talking, whatever. Operator territory is right in here. Yep. Yep, that is what you're supposed to do. Play off the drugs. Okay, so there's Sierra. Sierra will be important. Slightly important. Hi, Gage. Okay, so basically Gage wants me to go meet with the Raider gang leaders. It's typical Nuka World stuff. Mint hats. There's a grape somewhere. There it is. Nuka grape. Lots of good stuff in this area. Um, fun stuff. Uh, but now we're going to go meet the Raider gangs, except I'm going to, like I said, I'm, I'm going to cut most of that out because basically it's not that interesting. Nisha threatens you that if you screw her over, she'll kill you. Although, ironically, if you screw her over, you kill her. Um, but we'll get to that. And then Mags is Mags and William are just like, we want money, which is fair. Who doesn't want money? They just want to get it through less than honorable means. So I just walked into Brad Burton Amphitheater, meet with the pack, and battle music started. I'm not 100% certain why. Um, anyway, so I've already met with Bags and William and Nisha, the operators and the disciples and their wackadoodle things. And now we're here to meet with the wackadoodles at the pack because the pack are going to be more important in terms of like early gearing up than with the, uh, than the other two. Before I get too far into it though, I do want to point out that I have put on my charisma boosting outfits. Also, I need to level up. So what we're going to be taking is big leagues naturally and blitz where we're actually headed is to nuka town backstage all right so i need to tell you about a mod that i have so that this is the only mod i haven't talked about yet and it is right here in the backstage area and it's right here so this is the handmade rifle suppressor so we will be placing this on a handmade rifle now i do not consider this to be cheating because this is my story and my playthrough and i wanted a suppressor that's why i created a mod that places the suppressor here uh that being said we are going to pick up everything not that there's a heavy painted sledgehammer Ooh, now i'm carrying too much and some baseball bats and just in case you're wondering, if you ever want to try a, like, this kind of a run, maybe even without mods, maybe even on survival mode, um, specking out to be a melee character is the right way to go, because down here are all the, just a bunch of different melee weapons. There's a little couple of uh, pack automatic rifles. It's just melee. It's just melee heaven. Okay, so, what do we got here? Bottle t-shirt and jeans, pack stuff, left leg, pack rip shirt and socks. Oh, yes. That is the best news ever. So these So these things that are lying here, they're random. And so but those those uh melee weapons, they're random. So you just reload until you get the they're either a uh, sledgehammer, a baseball bat, or a uh board. And they're all various, they're all painted. They're all, all that. It's great. It's great. It's great. So now we're going to meet with Mason. But first, Mason needs to talk with this guy. And that is super loud and annoying. Hey, he does the dog meat thing. I didn't know that. Mason's dogs do the dog meat toy. Trick. Cool. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, do what I tell you. As long as you care about yourself, you'll do what I tell you. Ha! You might make it out of here alive after all. 
I did forget to do one thing, which was take my great mint hats. That's important, too. I'm not here to make us friends. I'm here to make us some caps. I think we can all respect caps. I think you're a bunch of ungrateful children. Careful there, boss. We ain't ungrateful. Just fed up. Look, let's cut to the chase. You're gonna do right by the pack. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Here we go. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, there, boss. Not in front of my guys, all right? You know what? I think we're not so different. No, we're not. You. I want you to have this. Thank you. Consider it a token of our mutual understanding and respect. Oh, thank you for giving me this furious pack rifle. Handmade rifle. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so now I'm going to sell stuff. Um, first, I think maybe we should talk to the good doctor. Just so that way we introduce ourselves to the person we might be speaking to a bunch. Sure. Yeah, I'm here to trade. Hello, Mackenzie. Oh, uh, second. Hello, boss. Congratulations on taking out Coulter. I'm uh sure you'll do great. Thanks. I'd be lying if I said we weren't all wondering how you plan to run the place. I mean, this is your show now. You can do anything you want. You can run Nuka World just like Coulter. Business as usual, or you could, um, well, you know, get rid of the Raiders if you don't exactly agree with how they're running the place. Well, I admit, I didn't like being roped into this job in the first place. Then this might be your chance to make some changes around here. If you're serious about this, then you'll have to take down the leaders of the gang. That means putting a bullet into Nisha, Mason, Mag, and Mags's brother, William. Once you do that, the gangs will collapse and Nuka Town goes back to being a free trading post. So, Mackenzie just gave us some really in interesting information that uh, if we want to free Nuka World, we should kill the leaders of the gangs, which makes sense. But uh, that seems like something we might want to do, but not yet. So let's just keep playing along until we can find our opening. All right, so now I'm going to sell all of my stuff and get some other stuff. Huh. The traders here are no What's this? The Star Corps. That seems like it might be useful. I imagine Kat is saying to herself right now. So I modified, sort of, problem solver, just a little bit. I turned it into a semi-automatic rifle instead of a fully automatic rifle. I added a short scope and the suppressor. This is going to be our primary long-range weapon, and we'll be using the knife for close-range sneaky stabby stuff. All right, Gage. The overboss returned. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Yeah. Is everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath? Sure. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections, parts. We need to take them all back, one at a time. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what? That'll be your call. Oh, and we're leveled up with ambitious plan ending. Not that I'm entirely surprised. And almost leveled up a second time. So, we are going to take riflemen. There we go. I don't think we'll take gunnut because I don't even know if we'll get to a high enough level to even be able to start modifying our rifle in any way, shape, or form. So as far as gear goes for this, I got the leather left arm and right arm that I found. I have a pack necklace. It's strength plus two. I got an incredibly terrifying version of the assault gas mask on my head, which is the buffalo helmet. It also has damage and energy resistance. And then on my leg, I have this packed stuffed left leg. So basically, I don't think this is the best setup we're gonna have. So we're gonna try and see what we can't get from doing from hitting some random spawn events that being said we do have a ton of ammo for our gun so we're gonna hit a few random spawn points there are three uh the first one is down here and then at the shovel museum and then over by the red rocket there's a bunch of different random spawn events that happen in this game that involve raiders the raider gangs fighting something else each gang fights a specific thing so operators fight gunners uh, disciples fight uh, super mutants, and the pack fights scavengers. I think. Um, yeah, it's super uh, gunners, really high level gunners. Um, I'm hoping high level ish. Yeah, I'm not wasting any of my ammo. So, either 
The operators, will, hopefully one of them will die, and I'll be able to take one of their hopefully much better scopes and put it on this gun. Uh, or, I mean, at the very least, the gunners will have some good armor. Yeah, here's the problem with the short scope. Man, a medium scope and I'd be able to pick that guy off in the window there. Okay, so. Gunners. Excuse me, operator waster. I, oh, thank you. I do like her glasses. I do like the operator shades. So if we can get a hold of those, that'd be nice. Oh, he had a hardened sniper rifle. Uh, I mean, I plan on using the uh, this gun, but I'll be honest with you. You know, the sniper rifle, uh, the hunting rifle is really nice. Now we're going to head to the shovel museum. However, um, there are cave crickets on the way to the shovel museum. And, or I think there are. Yeah, see, cave crickets. Now, what I've done in the past is taking aim at them and then chase them back over here and let the operators kill them and then because they're much more they're much tougher than the gunners. So that's what we're going to try and do. Oh, wow, that actually did a lot more damage than I expected. Come on, cave cricket. Is the hunter coming too? Are you coming? Cave cricket. Come on, don't be like this. Yeah, don't be like this. There we go. Guys, I brought us some new pets. Wait, you're not the pack. The pack would love this. Um, maybe I didn't bring you guys some new pets. Hey! Cave Cricket. Cave Cricket! That was five experience. Well, this is Cave Cricket meat. There he comes. Guys, I got a cave cricket hunter coming at us. Okay. I fell off and my leg got crippled. And I don't know if it got crippled because I fell off or not. Oh, that's my last stem pack. I really shouldn't have spent all my money on this ammo. Um, well, I got one of them. <laughs> okay. So, that plan worked reasonably well. Short automatic pipe rifle, operator's belted chest piece, right armband, right leg. And a stem pack! But unfortunately, just a short automatic pipe rifle and not uh, an operator's sniper rifle, which is what I was really kind of hoping for because this short scope sucks. The difference between the uh, stuff you can normally get at this level, level 6, with the leather legs and the nuclear world stuff is so drastic. I mean, look at that two and five, 13 and 13. Admittedly, it weighs five times as much, but still. So along the way, I thought I'd talk a little bit about the, uh, the organization that hired her to do all of this stuff that hired Kat to do all this stuff. She, um, what are we? Oof, disciples, which means it's super mutants. All right, disciples, you guys ready? Let's do this. Yeah, I really need a longer scope on this thing. Am I actually hitting these guys? It's hard to tell. I mean, the thing's coming up like I'm hitting them. Oh, yeah, no, I am. He's doing very minimal damage. The, the, the thing about the super mutants is that they are... I mean, enforcers are really high-level super mutants. Wow, that was a critical strike on the head. So, there's a very good chance. Ow! 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 Oh, okay. Uh, so, dirty water, dirty water. Blood pack, blood pack. Jets. Medex. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, this is bad. 
This is super bad. What are you doing? St use your much more powerful thing. Take this. I don't know why. I have a stupid knife. Okay, so we have a problem. And that problem is that I think all my friends are dead. And, uh... Uh, everyone has just left their super mutants. I'm gonna quick save right here, and I'm gonna see what I can get. Yep, all of them are dead. Disciples Blade. Uh, I'd rather have the plus two strength. Disciples Knife. Ooh, some machine gun. Disciples Strap Left Leg. I don't know how that varies from what I already have, but there's a plus next to it. This is gonna be the riskiest one. Or not. Bayoneted 44. Strap left arm. Back up. Back up. Do you have Blitz? Where did they all go? All the Super Mutants have a... No. No one is here. Bye, Super Mutants. Okay, so that was ridiculous. I was going to start telling you about the company, or the organization that she's working for. Um, instead... Uh, that was ridiculous. That was just insane. So, now I am actually going to tell you about this organization. So, this organization came about a couple of years ago, about a, a decade or 15 years or so ago, uh, when a couple of Minutemen were starting to just not really gel with, um, the, uh, the leadership of, what is it? Ah, it's just a Stingwing Darter. That's fine. Ah, it's just a couple Stingwing Darters. That's fine. Go ahead and get some burning damage on him. It's fine. Oh, wait. Hang on. Let me do something real fast. This is the Disciples Blade. It is 66 and fast. And this is... Why is this 92? Okay, so I genuinely thought I made this less than the Disciples Blade. So, I may go in and fix that, so that way it's not as good as the Disciples Blade. Or as good as the Disciples Blade. I'm not really sure. So this group of Minutemen, uh, a couple years back, they were like, look, we're not happy with the leadership of the Minutemen, so we're going to leave. Uh, they believed that the best way to take out these raiders wasn't to be operating out in the open, so everyone knows the Minutemen exist, but... In fact, to be operating more in secret, taking out the raiders from either inside, like Kat's doing, or just stealthily heading in, taking out their leader and leaving, because everyone knows that when you cut off the head, the snake dies, or however that expression goes. Hey, look, we're about to level up again. So this is the hardened sniper rifle, by the way, that we have. It doesn't have a suppressor on it, although there is a chance we may get one with a suppressor because there's one in the Wild West area, but I don't know if it spawns with a suppressor every time or if it just happened to one of the few times that I distinctly remember this. But I sold all my 308 ammo, which wasn't a lot to begin with, so that could be a problem. Anyway, so that was the start of the organization, and they have been slowly recruiting people, and they, have a, they are keeping the numbers small. Cat's like the fifth or sixth like, field agent that they have right now. I mean, they've had more field agents, but this is not a line of work where people live. Okay, so there's a gunner, private, right up there, that I am going to hold my breath and just blast with bullets until he dies. Hey, look at that, I leveled up. I saw him shooting at something. And his turret's blown up, because I can see the smoke, so that's good news. Because that was the thing that worried me the most about coming this way. I'm not sure what he was shooting at. I don't see any corpses. Oh, well. Over the last 15 years, they've had very successful operations. And some very, very non-successful operations. In fact, recently, they had an incredibly unsuccessful operation, where they attempted to go free Quincy. Obviously, Quincy is overrun with gunners. Uh, literally at this moment in time and because Preston and his group that's where they came from and uh, they sent someone 
right around the same time they were sending Kat to Nuka World, they sent someone into Quincy, but instead of succeeding, they, they were killed immediately because they were like, this guy is definitely not a gunner. And yeah, they executed him. It was not good. It was not, it was not good. Um, which is why I say she's one of five or six agents. Because, honestly, she doesn't really know. I mean, they're very com compartmentalized. Um, yeah, it's just a, the way they work. Um, not that dissimilar to the railroad. But the railroad knows how many agents they have in play, at least. Uh, so this is the uh, Nuka World Red Rocket. You actually can't activate it until you turn on the power to Nuka World. Alright, so, pack versus, well, this is just going to suck. For the scavengers, because I'm not taking on the pack right now. Mostly due to the fact that uh, I'm afraid the Nuka World Raiders will turn hostile. So I'm very sorry for these scavengers. Hello. Scavenger. I would put on... Oh, you are wearing clothes. Never mind. I was <laughs> looked like you weren't wearing clothes. I would run. No, run away. No, run away. They're going to kill you. Look. I told you. I told you to run. This is really, this is on you. We did level up. So, we can take big leagues too. But I actually think what we're going to take is... Where is it? Is Ninja. So what we're going to take is Ninja. All right, so that was a pretty successful gearing up, all things considered. We got some decent armor. We only have basic armor on one leg. Everything else is the Nuka World armor, which is good. We got a great gun. Next week, we're going to start our dive into the parks. And I think we're going to have a little bit of a Wild West showdown. This has been Cat's Nuka World Infiltration. Thank you for watching, and come back soon for more Nuka World.